Welcome back to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing. In this video, we are going to see what is Testa Bus Testing. This this will be our part one, and this will be our four video series where you will be able to learn so many new things about database testing. So let's get started. What is database? A database is an organized collection of structured information or data, or typically stored electronically in a computer system. A database is truly controlled by database management system, that is DBMS. There are, see, this is some user and he is handling some software and hardware through some procedures. So, uh, he is handling some data and that is called DB, through the database management system, that is DBMS. Let's consider this. See, consider this. This is one form of username and password. If you are entering some data to it, it will store in the database on the server. Similarly, whenever you want to use the data or retrieve the data, it will be retrieved from the database. Basically, it is central repository from where you can fetch the data every time. In database testing, these elements we verify. First one, data mapping, data integrity. Third one, acid properties. And fourth one business rule that is some triggers or some store procedures if have been used. So these elements will be verified while doing the database testing. What is data mapping? It is the process of connecting a data field from one source to the data field in another source. It reduces the potential for errors, helps to standardize your data and makes it easier to understand your data by correlating it. What is data integrity? Data integrity is overall accuracy, completeness and consistency of data. Data integrity also refers to the safety of data in regards to regulatory compliances and security. It maintained by collection of processes, rules and standard implemented during the design phase. When the integrity of data is secured, the information stored in the database will remain complete, accurate and reliable no matter what, how long it is stored and how often it is accessed. Acid properties A. Atomicity It simply gives that a transaction either pass or fail element. Consistency Check valid and legal state in the database. Isolation Multiple transactions at a single time then verify the database. Durability. Check for crash or power failure and check how durable your database is. Business rule. Business rule is rule that you use to ensure the quality and accuracy of your master data. You can use business rule to automatically update the data to send email or to start a business process or workflow. These rules can be your store procedures, your uh, triggers. We will see all these properties in our next upcoming videos in details. But now we'll see how to install MySQL and how to use it. So stay tuned. How to download MySQL? MySQL you can download easily from Google. And then uh, you have to build the connection. And then you will see something like this. Now you have to import the database. You can use sample database. I have I am using MySQL sample database. So simply you can go to Google MySQL sample database download. You will be redirecting to this URL. And from here you can download MySQL sample database. You keep it at some uh, pos uh, uh, you keep it somewhere from where you can use it. And you download uh, then uh, this ER diagram this you can use you uh, it will be helpful for you to use it while doing data mapping testing so keep it handy and uh, then uh, we will see now in how to import the database uh, I have already done that but I'll show you how to do it again so you can go to uh, provided you have uh, downloaded that my, uh, mysql sample database uh, dot sql file so uh, you go to server you click on data import then uh, you have to go to import from self-contained file here you have to give the path of your um, sql database file dot sql it has to be uh, uh, ended uh, or it has to be extension with dot sql 
so um, from here you give the path here i am giving i have kept it here so open it here from here then default target schema you can already if you have any schema you can use that otherwise you can create new from here new you can create new schema so i have already done that i am not uh, showing it i am not uh, doing it again so from here you go to some new schema you import okay then uh, start import so this is uh, so simple by doing this procedure you will get all the tables all the data all the database here at classic model uh, i have given uh, my schema name is classic model uh, you can give any name but i prefer uh, to keep same name as that database have so this is classic models then these these are the different tables uh, it has been contain uh, like customer employee office order details orders then payments product products and etc etc these are some views store procedure functions everything has been imported so by using this you can uh, we are going to do uh, database testing in upcoming videos so uh, for let's see we do Uh, if you do select start from C it is showing means all the tables is tables are imported successfully so execute this query see here you are seeing all the kinds of data here easily so your import has been successful so this is it for today and uh, we'll see how to do data mapping testing how to do the data integrity testing acid property checks business rule checks in up our upcoming videos so stay tuned stay connected with us and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumb so take care and happy testing bye bye